When we use a navigation view, by default, SwiftUI expects us to provide a primary view and a secondary detail view that can be shown side by side, with the primary view shown on the left and the secondary on the right. Previously, we solved this using stack navigation view style as a navigation style for our navigation view, which tells SwiftUI we only want to show one view. But here we actually want the two view behavior, so we aren't going to use that. On landscape iPhones that are big enough, iPhone 11 Pro Max, for example, SwiftUI's default behavior is to show the secondary view and provide the primary view as a slide over. It's always been there, but you might not have realized until now. Try sliding from the left edge of your screen to reveal the content view we just made. If you type rows in there, you'll see the text behind content view change as a result of our navigation link. And if you tap on the text behind, you can dismiss the content view slide over. Now there's a problem here, and it's the same problem you've had all along. It's not immediately obvious to the user they have to slide from the left to reveal the list of options. In UIKit, this can be fixed easily enough, but SwiftUI doesn't give us an alternative right now, so we're going to work around the problem. We'll create a second view to show on the right by default, and use that to help the user discover the left-hand list. First, create a new SwiftUI view called Welcome View, then give it this code. VStack, text, welcome to Snowseeker, in a large title font, then text, please select the resort from the left-hand menu, swipe from the left edge to show it, in a foreground color of secondary. That's all just static text. It'll only be shown when the app first launches, because as soon as the user taps any of our navigation links, it'll be replaced with whatever they were navigating to. To put that alongside content view so the two can be used side by side, all we have to do is add our second view to our navigation view like this. Welcome view. And that's enough for SwiftUI to understand exactly what we want. Try running the app on several different devices, both in portrait and landscape, to see how SwiftUI responds. On an iPhone 11 Pro, you'll see content view in both portrait and landscape. On iPhone 11, not 11 Pro, I guess 11 Amateur, you'll see content view in portrait and welcome view in landscape. On an iPad, you'll also see content view in portrait and welcome view in landscape. The first two of those might seem backwards, but it's a result of Apple's slightly odd hardware choices. Although the iPhone 11 Pro uses a Super Retina display at 3x resolution, it is physically smaller than the 11's 2x display, so Apple considers it too small to support the slide over content view. Although UIKit lets us control whether the primary view should be shown in iPad Portrait, this is not yet possible in SwiftUI. However, we can stop the iPhone 11 from using the slide over approach if that's what you want. Try it first and see what you think. If you want it gone, add this extension to your project. Extension, view, func, phone only, stack navigation view, return some view. If UI device, dot current, dot user interface idiom, is equal to dot phone, then return any view, self, dot navigation view style, stack navigation view style. Otherwise, return any view self. That uses Apple's UI device class to detect whether we're currently running on a phone or a tablet. Now, if it's a phone, it enables a simpler stack navigation view style approach. We have to use type erasure here because the two return view types are different. Once you have that extension, simply add the phone only stack navigation view modifier to a navigation view so iPads retain their default behavior whilst iPhones always use stack navigation. Again, give it a try and see what you think. It's your app, and it's important you like how it works. Now, I'm not going to use this modifier in my own project, because I prefer to use Apple's default behavior where possible, but don't let that stop you making your own choice.